What? You guys can't hear me? Oh, it's hard to talk over these pants. And on this latest episode of Summer School, we're going to take Loudmouth Golf to task and see what we think of their new pants here on Laneside Reviews. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson. And as we said, we're looking at Loudmouth Golf. Now for those of you who, well, watch the show on a regular basis, you know that I like my rather boisterous or loud clothing. Whether it be shirt, pants, shoes, they must have unusual patterns and a little bit of life, a little bit of color to them. Well, to be honest with you, I could wear just about anything. The most important thing to me, as a bit of a bigger guy who puts a lot of energy into his bowling, is to be, well, cool and comfortable. I don't want to be bowling all covered in sweat and feeling gross with what I've chosen to wear. Well, I was lucky enough to hook up with the guys at Loudmouth Golf and got myself a pair of pants to try out. So what I'd like to do is take you guys a little bit behind the scenes on how we test out a product. We're gonna take it down to the lane and I'm gonna throw a few games and we'll see how I feel after I'm done. So let's see how Loudmouth Golf stacks up. All right, so we're uh, one game into field testing the pants. Um, some of the things I noticed, uh, the cut is a little bit tighter um, than uh, a lot of golf pants that I've been into. Um, just in the top of, of the thighs, uh, but the material is incredibly uh, forgiving, really, really stretchy, so it actually kind of hugs you. Um, very, very comfortable. Uh, I specifically wore pants today even though it's very humid and very hot because I wanted to see uh, how they felt, how they wicked away sweat. Um, my legs are actually cool, my, my top is sweating like a pig, uh, which is interesting. Uh, I got like a rainforest starting around my belt, it's really weird. Um, so I'm going to give another game here and see how they feel. They move super, super well, so uh, let's see how they go. Alright guys, game two is out of the way. Uh, still feeling pretty comfortable in the pants here. Um, I think everybody else is probably, I, I don't know, getting blown out by the awesome colors. Uh, but yeah, no, still super cool. Uh, fit super nice. They're not riding up at all while I'm bowling, even while I'm sweating. Uh, and it is super, super hot in here. Uh, so we're going to go into uh, game number three here and see uh, how they hold up. Okay, I am now through three games. Uh, I am very hot. It's about uh, 30 degrees here in the center. Um, wearing pants, 100% humidity. Um, Interestingly, my lower half is still pretty cool. Um, I'm sweating, but it's wicking the sweat away, which is nice. It's keeping me pretty decently cool. Uh, the pants themselves still are awesome. They're still moving very well, even though they're sticking a little bit to me uh, because of how much I'm sweating. They're still moving super, super silky. Um, so, uh, yeah, so far, so far, so good. Um, going on to game four with these pants on. Uh, hopefully I don't sweat to death. Um, no, don't have my Logo Infusion jersey on yet. I'm just wearing one of my other bowling jerseys. And uh, I can hardly wait for my Logo Infusion stuff to get here because I need that lighter material. Uh, but yeah, these pants are awesome so far. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little behind the scenes. Now let's talk construction and why Loudmouth Golf is so good. Okay guys, so here we have the Loudmouth Golf pants uh, that I got from them. These are the Hollywoody Squares Black A. Now you saw them a little bit in the intro, um, but I have these laid out specifically for a reason, the way they are, and we'll get to that. First we're going to go over the pants themselves. Um, now you'll see in the design 
it is actually a printed on. It's not like an actual patchwork. Um, you know, I didn't know that they could do this kind of dye sublimated on such a thick material because these pants do feel thick. Um, but it comes out really, really nicely. And you can actually see here, I want you guys to take a close look here at the color. Now, what most people don't won't realize right now is that uh, these have actually been worn and washed. Well, only they've been washed once, but they've been washed five times already. I, uh, I wanted to make sure by putting them through a, a hard wash test uh, how the color would stay with them and how the material would uh, come out afterwards. And I gotta tell you, I was pretty surprised. I took these to an industrial uh, washing machine at a laundromat, put them in with some other assorted laundry and stuff to give them basically the approximation of the worst wash that they could get. Um, nothing against laundry uh, places, just uh, the industrial machines being bigger, they spin a little faster, they're a little harder on laundry. Um, and the color is exactly the same as when they came out of the box when you guys saw them in the intro. Um, next thing I wanted to go over a little bit here is the actual material itself. Now I said it felt a little bit thicker. So when I put them on, I have to be honest, I was a little worried that they were going to be heavy and hot. Uh, and I gotta be honest, I was, I was very surprised. Even though they feel thick, there's a lot of give to them. Uh, that's because they're 3% spandex. Um, and then the rest is cotton. So even though they're thick, they're still pretty light. When I was bowling with these, I was very surprised because they did feel a little bit thicker. I wore them in on one of the hottest days we've had yet this summer. Uh, it was about 40 degrees Celsius with humidity. So that's in that 120 degrees inside the bowling center. And I wore them plus my jersey so that I could see if I would sweat my butt off. And boy, did they ever wick the sweat away. Uh, even though I did get tired and I did sweat a lot from bowling, it wasn't from these. These actually, my bottom half of my body was really cool and the top half of me was warm. So I was pleasantly surprised there. Now being that they're made for golf, generally, um, I could see that being a huge bonus if you're walking out around the course and such. Uh, with the sun beating down on you, you don't want to hold a lot of sweat and you don't want them to be heavy insulated. And these are definitely not. They were cool and they were comfortable through the whole thing. Actually, the, one of the things I noticed that was really weird is as I sweat more, these actually had more and more give to them. So as they didn't exactly stick to my body, um, but because of the cut, it's a, it's a little tighter cut, it actually moved with my body. The, I felt like the material was actually uh, stretching and that's probably that spandex in it. So it, it allowed me super free range of motion while I was bowling and very comfortable. Now, when you go inside them, uh, you will see here, I'll try to get this close enough so you guys can see this here. Now it is a single stitch through the interior, but if you look at the actual, all of the, the sew-offs here, they are two, three times overstitched. Uh, which gives them a lot of durability. Uh, being somebody who is maybe a little bit bigger around the middle, um, I'm pretty hard on things, especially in the seat of the pants. Uh, and with my deep knee bend and how hard I, I attack the line, I definitely go through pants a lot. And you can see on the interior seam here on the butt, one stitch, two stitch, over stitch. These things are heavy duty. These are hardcore. Uh, the pockets themselves too, you can see the pockets, they are a thicker material uh, and they have multiple stitching on them as well so that you're not going to be able to, you know, push a, a lot through these. I imagine it's probably done that way so you can't push a T through it. Um, I can't think of anything in bowling that I would have in my pocket or want in my pocket that I could push through this material. And you can see on the inside, it's the dye sublimation is only on one side. You can see a little bit of it through but it's mostly white on the interior. Going around to the front. Uh, now, interestingly, these don't have a, uh, a lot of pants, especially in golf pants, they have that little overhook that you put on to hold them shut, which is, I mean, is, is great, 
but um, you know you can bend them off. You can, they're gonna move around a little bit more. They're more prone to, during motion, to come unhooked. Uh, these actually use a double button system. So you're actually button, buttoning inside and out, uh, which means they are not gonna come undone on you. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any uh, pants malfunctions during your, uh, during your game. And I think that's a really a lot of what Loudmouth Golf is about, is about making sure that when you pay for a product, because let's not, uh, pull any punches here. These are expensive pants. You're looking at anywhere between $75 and $125 American per pair. Uh, but when you invest in these, they are going to last a long time. And that's something you don't see a lot, especially in the clothing industry. Um, you know, you can go to Walmart or uh, your local discount store and get a pair of pants and you can pay 10 bucks for them, but you're only gonna get $10 worth of use out of them. You're, you're, they're gonna wear out faster, the material is thinner, uh, the stitching isn't gonna be as nice. I mean, I will blow through a pair of pants, like a discount pair of pants, in a couple of sessions of bowling, because I'll just wear through them, bust the butt out, whatever. Uh, into the, you can see here in the zipper, and I don't think I, I can quite show you guys this, but the actual material that they used on the zipper uh, if you compare that to a regular pair of pants, this is like comparing steel to cotton. Um, I don't know if this is, is a, like a, a canvas and a spandex hybrid or something, but the zipper itself, holy moly, is it heavy duty. Um, and I said duty. Uh, I, I guess, you know, if you think about it with golfers, uh, with bowlers and such, you don't want to blow to zipper, especially in a, a well-constructed pair of pants like this. You're only as strong as your weakest link and by far these, uh, these zippers are not it. They are, like you can actually see, these are some heavy duty teeth on here and a very heavy duty material. All right, so let's go to the other end. Take these off here. Now these are, like I said, the cut's a little different. Uh, some golf pants you see, they'll have uh, their straight cut or their front cut or their, their pocket cut. Um, these are a little bit tighter. They're a little bit, um, a little bit closer fitting to more like a jean. Uh, it's a truer fit which I actually kind of like. Like I said, when I started to sweat, the, the material moved very well with me. Um, but some people do like a little bit of a looser boot cut. So you, uh, when you're ordering, just make sure the, the style of cut that you order, be very cognizant of what you're ordering. Uh, for me, I was really happy with these, even though, even though I usually go with a boot cut on these. Uh, they do have tour slits in them, you can see. So they do go down over your shoes. So you don't have all that bagginess all over your shoes. You're not stepping on the back of your pants. It actually fits really nicely down over your, your pants and over, sorry, over your uh, shoes. Uh, so just be mindful when you are ordering to order an actual size that you would wear normally. Don't order because you think, oh, what if they shrink or whatever. Um, five times washed, they have not shrunk at all which is really cool. Uh, they have not changed the fit at all in five washes, which is awesome. Um, now remember with these, uh, these are a cold water wash and you don't really wanna put these in a hot dryer. Uh, they are cotton. I'm not saying they're gonna shrink, um, but they are still a dress pant as well. So they do actually better with an ironing and they look sharper with an ironing. That's just me. Um, so we come back up, awesome belt loops. You can see on them, they are heavy duty stitched on there, really good right through actually all the material. So they've got a huge base in there to hold them really tight. And that's once again, to make sure that while you're moving around, while you're uh, either playing golf or bowling or what have you, when you're wearing the loudmouth golf pants, that uh, they're not going to break down on you. And of course they've got a cool logo on the back and you guys probably saw it, the awesome logo inside of the zipper. Now they also come with replacement buttons. Um, 
even though I said that button, the double button system is really good, um, you can always pop a button. It happens. Um, sewing, like your, your thread will can wear out. If you catch it on something, it's gonna let go. But extra buttons are cool, especially because they're the exact same size as the ones on the pants. You don't have to go searching for anything if anything happens. All right, guys, that about wraps up another episode of Summer School here from Laneside Reviews. But don't worry, there's more to come. On the next episode, we're going to be looking at my updated bowling accessory kit from a few shows ago and see what I'm carrying is new, what I've changed, and why I'm carrying what I've got. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside. This program sponsored by Turbo, driven to bowl, for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Dexter Bowling Shoes, the world's most advanced bowling shoe, the SST8. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowler's Tape really is the Real Bowler's choice. Plantronics Rig, stereo headset and mixer. Play more, pause less. And Logo Infusion, look the best, be the best, infuse your game, Logo Infusion.